at my incredible lab, where today we're going to be talking about how our incredible God made some incredible creatures called dinosaurs. Oh, I love to think about dinosaurs and study them and find out all kinds of amazing facts about them. Did you know that our great God created some great big dinosaurs? He also created some smaller dinosaurs. But when I think of dinosaurs, I usually think about great big dinosaurs. So today, for our science experiment, it's actually going to be a science scavenger hunt. And the only supplies you need are a measuring tape and your imagination. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our measuring tape to measure some of our features. And then we're going to find some things maybe around our houses, around where you live. Maybe you have to go outside. You may need an adult to help you as well because we're going to measure some amazing things to see some of the great big features that God designed when he created the great big dinosaurs. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Now the first thing I want you to do is I want you to measure how long your leg is from the ground to your hip. Here is my hip, here is the ground, and I look, ooh, I have about 37 inches from the ground to my hip. And you see how big your leg is. Okay, once you have figured out how long your leg is, we have the first step in our scavenger hunt. So here's what I want you to do. When I say go, you're going to go find something that is 15 feet tall. Wow, that's even taller than my lab. So you may not have anything inside that is 15 feet tall, so you might even have to go outside. So if you need an adult to go with you, please do that. But go find something that is 15 feet tall. And when you do, I want you to use your imagination because that is the same length, or height I should say, as the leg of an Apatosaurus. Can you believe it? Their leg is 15 foot tall. So go find something 15 feet and think that's how tall the leg of an Apatosaurus is. On your mark, get set, go! Welcome back. I hope that you are able to find something 15 feet tall. Isn't it amazing that that is just the size of the leg of one of the amazing creatures God created? The second thing I want you to do is go ahead and use your tape measure to measure your foot. Okay, my foot is about ooh, 11 inches long. Just a little, my foot is just a little smaller than a foot. Oh, that's so funny. Anyway, and then the second part of our scavenger hunt is for you to find something that is one, two, three, three feet wide. Now that could be inside or it could be outside again. It's up to you. But when you find something three feet wide, I want you to think, wow, that is about the same size as some dinosaur footprints. Who and think about how big their foot would be compared to your foot. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Welcome back! I hope you were able to find something as big as a dinosaur footprint. Now, I want you to measure something that is small. We've measured some things that are big. Now let's find something a little smaller like a tooth. Oh, this one? I cannot see how big my tooth is because, well, my eyes are up here and my mouth is down here and my eyes cannot see in my mouth. But I could have a friend help me and tell me how big my biggest tooth is, okay? Now, once you've done that, 
we are going to go and do our third scavenger hunt. Oh, this is so much fun. And now I want you to find something that is about ooh, six inches long, okay? You're gonna find something six inches long because that is about the size of the tooth of a T-Rex. Oh, isn't that huge? That's much bigger hmm, than my tooth. So press pause when I say go and find something that is six inches long. On your mark, get set, go! Welcome back. Were you able to find something that was six inches long? Well, this is kind of like what a T-Rex tooth may look like. This is almost six inches long. Oh, isn't that great? Mmm, that would make eating pizza so easy, wouldn't it? Yes, I think so. Now, are you ready for our next scavenger hunt? This one is a little more difficult. You probably need some help with this one too. Now, I want you to measure how tall you are, okay? You may already know this, but you can still do it again, okay? If you want to, you can also measure how wide you are. Okay, but that doesn't matter. So measure how tall you are. And now we're gonna go find something very tall, or it could be very long as well. You need to find something that is 30 feet long. Wow, 30 feet long. And when you find this thing that is 30 feet long, I want you to imagine a triceratops. Oh, isn't that a cool dinosaur? Because a triceratops was about 30 feet long. That is huge. And they're not even the biggest dinosaurs that God created. So when I say go, press pause and find something 30 feet long. Arimak, get set, go! Welcome back. I hope you were able to find something that is as long as a triceratops. Very good. Now, did you know that the book of Job talks about a huge creature called behemoth? And in the description of behemoth, the Bible says it had a tail like a cedar tree. Now, I know a little bit about cedar trees. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But did you know that some cedar trees are 40 feet high? Oh, that's bigger than the triceratops we just measured. But you have to stand it up. But cedar trees can grow to be 200 feet high. That's many times bigger than a triceratops. Wow! And did you know that a cedar tree can be somewhere between eight feet and 12 feet wide? So here's your last scavenger hunt. You need to go and find something that is about eight or 12 feet long or anywhere in between there, okay? So when I say go, go find something that is about eight feet long or up to 12 feet long. Arimak, get set, go. Welcome back. I hope you were able to find something that was between eight and 12 feet wide. That would be about the same size as a cedar tree. And think, behemoth is described as having a tail like a cedar tree. Now think, have you ever seen an animal either in the wild or in the zoo that would have a tail like a cedar tree? I know I haven't. Behemoth sure sounds like a giant land dinosaur that God created on day six. So if we think about how huge and how powerful all these dinosaurs were, it makes me think about how wise and how powerful the God who created the dinosaurs is. And he just didn't create the dinosaurs. He created everything, including you and including me. When I think of dinosaurs, 
I think about how amazing and how incredible God is. And I always remember, God is great and God is good.